talk about circle logos, round logos on cups. There is a scourge running through the laser engraving industry where folks are taking customers round logo and putting them on drinkware and they end up looking like this. The egg logo. Yes, that's right, folks. <laughs> this is not <laughs> correct. And I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Let's get into it. Time to get out our tools again. Yep, that's right. We're gonna get out the calculator and we're gonna do basic equations. So, stop this from happening. Remember how in the last one, how we compensated for the small diameter? Well, on this one, we wanna to try to get that logo to look as round as possible, okay? It's never gonna be perfect. We're kind of dealing with like a parallax type thing where it, it, if, if I were to peel this tape off, the logo would actually be at size. But to the eye, because it's on this curved surface, it looks like an egg. So we need to kind of compensate for that. So to the eye, it looks rounder. And I found that the best way to do that, and you may play with this number here and there, make your small adjustments. But a good starting point is we wanna take the actual graphic, which was supposed to be 2.8 inches. It's a circle, perfect circle. What I like to do is I like to take the diameter of the top of the cup, 3.96, and I move the decimal point over one and add 0.39 inches to the width. Not the height again, but add. See, now we're enlarging, we're not squashing, we're enlarging to make this look more like a circle. 2.80 plus 0.39, 3.19. So the new is gonna look on your screen, I'm exaggerating here, 3.19. So let's go over to the computer, make our adjustment, and engrave that new logo on the other side, and then we'll compare which one you think looks more like a circle. Okay, here we are, back over at the computer. So right now, up here, you can see my logo is 2.8 inches, perfect circle. And I've already got it tilted in the direction that I want. So I'm gonna uncheck the lock ratio and I'm gonna change the width of my logo to 3.19. You see how I stretch that out? And then I'm gonna go ahead and send it over to the cup using my blue tape proofing setting. And we're gonna run it and then take a look at it afterwards. Let's run it. Now the trippy thing about this is when you're looking at it from the side, right? But it looks like we stretched out the logo because we're trying to make it look round straight on. So that's how it should look. You know, a customer's looking at it. That looks much rounder, even though we know that it's actually 3.8 inches wide. To make it look round, we stretched it. But as you go to the side, and you'll see this yourself when you try it, you'll see that it looks stretched, but straight on, it looks much rounder than the egg we did on the other side. <laughs> so it's really kind of an optical illusion is what we're doing. Taking that measurement, moving the decimal point and adding it over and stretching it is a great starting point. You may need to make little adjustments here and there, depending on the diameter of whatever you're working on. There's a little trick for you on how to actually make round logos look round on a cylinder. 